There are about 170,000 people who live within a 10 mile radius of Seabrook Station nuclear power plant in coastal New Hampshire. But many in the region don't think about Seabrook very often, how it powers our homes, or how it could impact the health and safety of our families. Thankfully, C10 Research and Education Foundation is thinking about safety every day. And monitoring airborne radiation levels in the areas surrounding the plant 24 7. The Citizens Radiological Monitoring Network is always there in the background, providing extra peace of mind even when we don't realize it. With support from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, C10 has been monitoring since 1991, soon after Seabrook went online. There are six Massachusetts cities and towns and 17 in New Hampshire that fall within the plant's 10-mile emergency planning zone. These communities partner with state and federal agencies, as well as the plant's owner, Next Error Energy Resources, for emergency planning drills and to provide information to the public. Seabrook Station has been helping to meet the region's energy needs since it went online in 1990. With its 1,200 megawatt capacity, Seabrook is the largest single supplier on the New England electricity grid, powering 900,000 homes daily. It directly employs about 500 workers and is an important part of the local economy. NextEra is currently licensed to operate the plant through 2030 and has already filed with the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission for license extension through 2050. But as nuclear plants age, safety concerns are apt to rise. A reactor's fuel rods, pipes, tanks, and valves can leak due to mechanical failure or human error. NextEra is facing serious problems relative to degrading concrete at Seabrook. It's the first nuclear plant in the nation where the chemical reaction known as ASR was discovered. And this concrete is what is meant to protect us from the most toxic materials on the planet. Every nuclear power reactor generates radioactive material. And some of that, as part of normal operation, enters the Earth's atmosphere and water as ionizing radiation. Many of these byproducts of atomic fission emit radioactive particles or rays for tens of thousands or even millions of years. There are, of course, limits to how much federal regulators allow through standard releases, but there is no scientific consensus to what a safe level of exposure is, because all exposure increases risks to living creatures and the environment. Children and the unborn are among the most vulnerable to radiation, which can cause birth defects, cancer, and death. That's why state agencies conduct testing to determine whether radiation has accumulated to harmful levels. Here at C10, one of our primary functions is to monitor the radiation in a 10 mile radius of the Seabrook nuclear power plant. We have a network of stations that monitor this radiation 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They are in private homes, private businesses, and public facilities. One of the devices that we use is the Hawks Radius 1320 Dual Action Radiation Probe. This monitors airborne radiation uh, 24 hours a day, like I said, uh, beta and gamma. New Hampshire does not currently participate in the monitoring network, but as the plant faces increased safety concerns, there are renewed calls to provide this service for the citizens of the Granite State. C10 is the only citizens organization in the country with data available from the moment a nuclear power plant began operation. Their program serves as a model to community organizations across the country and around the globe. After the Fukushima disaster, researchers came to C10 for advice in creating their own radiation monitoring network. My name is Kathleen O'Connor Ives, and I'm the state senator for seven communities in the Merrimack Valley, the majority of which lie within the 10-mile radiological zone impacted by the operation of Seabrook Nuclear Power Plant. And it's important for the public to know that C10 receives state funding 
with the advocacy that the legislative delegation does year in and year out. And that funding is critical for them to be able to fund staffing and maintain and operate their technological equipment. And we can't take the monitoring that C10 is doing for granted because they're doing this 24-7. We live here because it's a beautiful part of the world, because our friends and family live here, because it's home. But living near a nuclear power plant is something to think about. At C10, that's what we do. Learn more and get involved in C10. For more information, please email info at c10.org or call 978-465-6646.